I am Poob, and this is Game Horde Game. We're playing some more Wreckfest today, Bugbear's next car game, Wreckfest. There was an update, so we're going to talk about a little bit of that, but right now I'm going to show you one of the most obvious parts of the update. Oh yes, if you, if you didn't notice during the flyby there, oh, let me get my mouse off the screen. If you didn't notice during the flyby there, what what's all this now? Oh yeah, yeah, there's lawnmower racing. Let's go to town. All right, um, lawnmower racing is... Uh, yeah, well, on the figure eight track, it's pretty much just a death trap. It's pretty entertaining. Anyway, oh, okay. I look down, and I've got a little. I've got some notes written here. Anyway, so what's new in the update? Clearly, there's a new car. Mm, car might be a strong word for it. It's the lawnmower. Ooh, okay. There's a couple people are starting to drop out here now. Yeah, so we get the lawnmower as a new vehicle. Uh, they changed the damage physics. Uh, I uh, might take uh, might take another look at the actual cars in a few minutes here, just to uh, just have a look and see just how different the new damage physics are. They say that they should react more like metal instead of plastic or or uh, something soft. So hopefully they haven't gone too far into the realism with uh, with that. I I get scared every time I ooh there we go <laughs> ragdoll physics on the guys as well. Yeah, I get scared with Wreckfest every time I hear them saying we're going farther into the realism because that's not what I like Wreckfest and I'm I'm not sure that's what um, hooked people into Wreckfest to begin with. So yeah, we, we got obviously the lawnmower and new tracks. So there's a uh, mixed one which is the first mixed surface track. So let me just restart here. That'll be uh, both dirt and asphalt. And there's Tarmac 2, so there was already the Tarmac 1 track. I assume they'll get names eventually, but right now that's all they're called is these nice boring 1 and 2 names. Um, and there's also Lawnmower Derby track. Um, you know what? Let's... Wait, are you sure you want to retire? Uh, is that just going to... Yeah, okay, I just want to go back out to the track selecting. So, um... What else? I mean, obviously, lawnmower is a new vehicle. Uh, they've also implemented the uh, first stages of car durability. So if we go into change parts, uh, we can see over time here my engine is taking durability hits. Uh, and they've also implemented the marketplace finally. So I can click here, only show parts compatible with their current car. Uh, and if you look here, there's different parts for all sorts of uh, different vehicles here. You can buy them like good condition, used, almost new, so on and so forth. And that'll basically different performance and different durability uh, attributes due to that. So see, I can buy these stock parts for the lawnmower. They don't have any of the upgradable parts, but I mean, the lawnmower is in the game now. I didn't know the lawnmower was coming. Uh, also in the marketplace is your cars, and they cost money, etc. Uh, it's all the same car. It's all the the same cars. The lawnmower is actually the only um, car they've added. And let me see. No, that pretty much covers it. Except for there is a new game mode, uh, which is the Sprint Cup, which involves several races that were like three races that are two heats each, I believe. That might actually be the other way around. Dyslexia might be getting the better of me there. Or is it dyslexia or just having a shitty memory? Hard to tell at times, isn't it? All right, so let's take a run around the... Not Tarmac 2, not Stadium, Small Stadium, Lawnmower Derby. Because, I mean, I'm using the lawnmower to mess around, so we may as well go to Lawnmower Derby. I also have all my driving assists off, so uh, the physics on the lawnmower isn't great to begin with. But is this just going to be a smash-up derby? Lean against the incoming bump to prevent tipping over. Good advice. Oh my god, this is going to be just chaos. The lawnmowers are fucking death traps. I wish there was like some big jumps and shit here. I also figured out that if you hold your handbrake, you seem to be more resistant to flipping over. Let's just go right to it here. Come on! I can take these motherfuckers. I'm a lawnmower god. Oh, yeah! Oh, I saved that guy and then I killed him. Hell yeah. Oh, look, I got this guy. Got this guy. You just fucked up, fool. Oh, nope. Nope. I got one frag. That we're calling them frags now, huh? I, I, I don't think you should be calling them frags. Wrecks or takedowns might make a little bit more sense, but I'm not exactly like throwing grenades or shooting these guys. Yeah, you suck. He's dead. All right. I love the little the ragdoll physics. They're pretty fun. Look, let's just... Oh, I <laughs> crushed that guy in between my mower and the next one. Um... These these lawnmowers have like bumper bars on them, like the little supervisor carts at my workplace. It's it's pretty cool. It's like driving the adventure carts at work. All right, 
Oop, no, careful. Oh, we're gonna get hit. We're gonna get hit, aren't we? The damage modeling is not super intense on these, but again, first implementation of the lawnmower. Ah, I'm pretty impressed that they've uh, gone to the lengths they have to keep the. Uh, like I say, I get scared when the when the heavy realism comes into play, but it looks like Bugbear's committed to uh, keeping things nice and fun too. I don't I don't find these lawnmowers to be particularly uh, action packed or anything. Oh my god! I just killed a man. I just killed two people. They're they're dead now. I like that guy was just laying on the ground. He was knocked out. I like broke his neck. Look at this. Oh yeah, there's there there is no respect for other competitors in this arena. Everyone. Yeah, uh, 24 men enter, one man leaves. And a bunch of bits and pieces of men go flying out of the arena as well. That guy's lawnmower is pretty messed up. Actually, I think I spoke too soon with the uh, lawnmower damage modeling. It would appear now that the damage modeling is actually relatively good. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, dude, there's something wrong with your lawnmower, man. Your lawnmower is almost dedicatedly under your balls at this point. There is no front end. She's still working pretty good. My my engine's not feeling too good. Boom! Oh man, look at that guy's little lawnmower. It's uh, probably longer than my own lawnmower, to be fair. But we're doing pretty good here. I got four takedowns. How many opponents are left? Oh, he's the only guy left. You're gonna die! Did he die? First place. Uh, that was you know like first time I got seventeenth place or some shit. But hey, whatever, right? That's okay. Um. All right, well, I guess that's that track. Let's go through one more of them, and uh, then, I mean, I'll leave the last one, and, uh, you know, if you've got this game yourself, or if you're interested in this game and you want to see the other track, I feel like playing on Mixed, and I also don't want to use the lawnmower. Yeah, if, if you're interested in this game, I, uh, I encourage you to go pick it up yourself if you want to see the other track. I'm not going to show you everything. Oh, no, it's not like that. I'm gonna be a, I'm just gonna be a big tease. Don't you wanna know what the other track looks like? <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. No, you no, I mean, uh this is a great game. Uh like I read I read sometimes on the um forums and stuff, like there seems to be this divide where like some people want this game to be headed in a more realistic direction and others want it to be more arcadey. I'm I'm of the mind that, yes, let's bring on the realism. Let's just let the camera do a few passes on this map. It looks really nice. But yeah, I, I want the realism, but I also don't want them to take the chaos out of this game. Uh, I feel like that's the thing that sets this game apart, is that, that chaotic driving nonsense that's just the brutal bone-crushing hits. And, frankly, AI that just wants to murder you half of the time. Um, I don't play a lot of the regular races because I get really... Uh, Sometimes, uh, on some tracks, this just turns into another racing game, and that's not thats not what I uh, got this game for. I got this game because uh, there's the the fun little, like, test track that they had released to early access uh, backers. Like, that was when you still had to buy it off of their website, even. All right, we'll get to see a little bit of the new damage modeling here, too, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, so like the test track was just chaotic. It showed you that, like, Bugbear was really serious with their damage modeling, and that how how good their physics engine was and just how torn apart cars could get. Um, I think I'm noticing new engine noises here on this car. I kind of like that. So far, the track seems pretty good. Um, I I seem to remember reading that they uh, they want to be like true to like folk racing of like what uh, Netherlands kind of thing. So. I don't know. I like that idea. It would appear that most of these cars are better than me, so we're not going to be, you know, we're using the little Euro car game. We're not going to be breaking in any uh, speed records here. But honestly, uh, well, I should use one of the big rear wheel drive cars so I can get some cool slides going and really check out where they've gone with the physics, because they've also changed the uh, the physics modeling again. Um, I know they changed the steering model and stuff like that, but uh, they're always tweaking that and, and changing things around. So I. I really don't like to comment upon that because it's changed so drastically over time. They've had good iterations and they've had bad iterations of uh, both controller support, steering wheel, steering wheel support, and keyboard controls. As far as I've experienced, the game uh, the game handles really good on a on a gamepad. I haven't used my keyboard in ages, so I can't really speak to the newest uh, version of the handling with the keyboard. Obviously. 
you get on off style steering with a keyboard and you get uh, an actual like gradualness to your steering with a uh, joystick and I can't comment towards the uh, handling as far as a uh, proper steering wheel is concerned because again don't have a proper steering wheel don't have any steering wheel at this point uh, I had a steering wheel in the past I really enjoy playing with the steering wheel but that is not something I have now okay let's try to actually stay on the track yeah I'm getting my ass kicked here but see here's what I mean see here we have a more standard style race there hasn't been a lick of chaos there it's it's just this is I am driving on a track pretty boring really right like I don't know so again with the, like such amazing damage modeling it's really cool when you go flying off the track to like to know the level of damage that can can strike your vehicle but at the same time how how entertaining is this right now like especially with this car it's you know I'm fully steering into every turn and I'm not spinning out I'm just and all my driving assists are off so again weakest car so maybe I maybe I should just anyway yeah that's that's boring as hell so um, let's let's get out of that and let's let's get a different car and uh, just take a lap or two around with a better car we're staying on mixed I'm still not showing you that other track I know you want to see it but I'm not showing it to you <laughs> come on load up load up load times are pretty good on this very pretty game and if you've noticed uh, well what I'm running it on a GTX 970 it's like the Zotac amp extreme edition whatever like one one of the nonsensical varieties that's right pimped out but it runs really good. It's on. This is on full settings on 1920 by 1080, which oh, I know it's not 4K, but at the same time, uh, it runs solidly with all 24 cars and on high details, which hell yeah. Um, let's go with hey American Four. Let's buy that. Okay, there we go. Eventually, I believe you get to buy like uh, different grades of car and everything. Ooh, that looks different than it used to. Uh, Alright, I'm just going to take it as it is, stock, and let's do this. We'll do a couple uh, laps around this track just to just to fuck, it, fuck with the steering and probably run into some people to see the damage modeling. And uh, I think we'll wrap it up after that. But let's uh, let's see how the, the actual like cars that are meant to be competitive handle this new track. So, the update so far, like... Overall, I I haven't found anything particularly negative about it. In past past updates, here and there, they'll release an update that like just borks the uh, the steering or the handling controlling it, controls. But overall, this seems pretty good. This car feels really stiff so far, but let's just try to keep her on the track. Yeah. Okay. This is a little bit better when we can actually get up in the pack. Yeah, spun out pretty bad there. Okay, all my driving assists are off, and I was just playing with a uh, rear engine, rear wheel drive, so it's going to take a little bit of adjustment here. All right, there we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> I drove right over the guardrail. Oh, damn you. All right, so I just got hit there. Let's reset the car and see if it did anything. Okay, I see zero crumpling and uh, zero damage overall so far. That's not good. I actually really like the damage as it was. It was silly. Cars could like bump you and it would smash your your parts right in. But I just like rolled over and I have sustained no damage. I don't know. Maybe this is just not a very good representation. Uh, scares me a little bit to say the least so far. I I don't I. I, I don't want the cars to be made of stone. I really do like the ridiculous levels of damage because it's it's silly and it's fun and it adds to the chaos. And I think that's a big advantage that this game has over other racing games that other racing games don't have the level of chaos that this has. Come on, yeah, well, come on to her to get around that turn. Yeah, the steering on this car feels really stiff. Like I'm. The, uh, it has like okay here's what I'd like to do you stop now at 10 miles an hour how fast can a car steer back and forth really fast but look at this it's it's like I'm steering a 20 foot long vehicle back and forth that's just uh, what are my assists on or something like can I can I change that right now controls uh, no yeah okay so yeah 
not a hundred percent of a fan because look that's full steering in I at at 40 miles an hour you can whip a car into a turn I'm not getting that from these controls right now I can still do a burnout and stuff but yeah the this the front end the steering out of the front end is dead I feel like I'm playing an old Gran Turismo game or something oh man I'm gonna get some hate for that uh, yeah, okay, so that just about wraps it up. I, I'm not a fan of the new steering, at least on this vehicle. It might not be the same all over, and it could have something to do with the fact that this is just the base model car. But the only time it actually steers is when I'm on the gas, which is uh, not what you would expect, as it's a rear-wheel drive. Uh, you know, the front end should be lifting up as I get on the gas. Yes, it'll pin the rear end as I hit the gas but that should help me with acceleration not steering I mean it should be taking the front end up off the ground so yeah not getting um, I, it feels very cold right now um, hey there we go yeah so the damage modeling does still work anyway I think that'll about wrap it up that's that's all we're gonna look at for today I'm gonna pop a little screenshot there anyway I am Poob this game horde game this breakfast Bugbear's Bug Bear's next car game just updated. If you like the looks of it, go check it out. You can pick it up early access on Steam. Have a good one.